guys, welcome to another episode. I have this 2009 Hyundai Genesis. Replacing the radiator, which is really easy. Uh, you have to remove this cover. And the air intake. On this one, uh, I think the customer removed the clips, but you have to remove this stand. This stand clips all the way around and remove this cover. Then just pull the intake. This two right here, this uh, is two 10 millimeters on each side. They hold the bracket for the radiator. Same thing on this side, pull this clamp. Then on the bottom, you're gonna have to remove this hole, just pull on it. Once you remove that hose, pull it from here too. You have two 10 millimeters on this side, one here, one in here. Once you have those two out, pull on the reservoir and remove it now this step is something that probably you can do without removing this box but I don't have room or pliers to remove that connector that connector right there is for the radiator fan the only thing that you need to do is remove those 210 right here this 210 one in there one in there so you can move the box I think it's fuse yeah fuses remove the fuse box out of the way so you can remove that clip that's gonna be the cable Pull it, pull it through here for the fan once you do that you're gonna be able to remove the fan the fan only has one ten in here one ten in there and right here on the bottom where my finger is uh, you just have to pull on the little lever to pull the radiator fan up same thing on that side it's just uh, held in there with this you just pull up put to the side on that little clip on both sides so you can remove the fan once you do that like i said remove this clamp and disconnect the two hoses this radiator has a engine oil cooler right here you gonna have to remove these two clamps that one in here that one on the bottom so you can pull out the hoses and set them on the side to be able to remove the radiator Press on the top on this side so you can pull the cable. Once you disconnect the cable, just pull it. And get it out. So that's for the fan. fan is loose already so I'm gonna go in there just pull like I told you on that little um, clip that is holding the fan same thing on the other side just pull on it and the fan is out of the way you have to remove the upper hose to remove the fan if the upper hose is still in the radiator uh, is going to be on the way so hopefully you can see right there those are the the little clips just pull on both sides so you can remove it now that that's out of the way these two the holes the radiator i removed these two already so the radiator is loose on this side after removing those two there is one 10 millimeter on this side holding the radiator to the condenser 
same thing right here behind the lines hopefully you can see there behind the lines there is another 10 millimeter remove that one so you can separate the condenser from the radiator okay guys I removed the radiator that's the condenser in there if you can see the condenser it has those two little uh, pieces of metal in here and that one large is larger than the other one in there those they're gonna go on this side of these little clips so basically what you have to do in that case is uh, pull the kind of the condenser up a little bit or push the radiator down to release the condenser same on this side so that's gonna be the only thing but uh, I didn't show you anything else because this car has a big hole in there so I was able to go on the side and remove the the clamp for the bottom hose which is this one right here so that one is free and I didn't have to drain uh, this radiator that's why I still have the cover uh, you're gonna have to go underneath remove that tray so you can uh, remove all the antifreeze it's on this side I didn't show you that because this radiator has a big crack in here I didn't have any fluid so I don't have to drain anything so basically that's it for the removal I'm gonna put the new one the new one has new radiator cup I don't know if the new one has the clips I remove it from here just in case it has the two clips the uh, it's gonna have the bolts on here and in here I'm gonna check the new radiator right now but basically once you put the new radiator you're gonna have to slide and put those the condenser on these little brackets once you do that I bolt it down put these two cups that goes on top of the radiator so you have to put those two bolts so I'm gonna show you in a minute how it's gonna look the new radiator doesn't have the two little clips that goes on the bottom for the two 10 millimeters so basically what you do is just use a flat head push on it so you can release it and put them on the new one the most not difficult but I think annoying part will be uh, to put the new radiator with the condenser probably if you remove this grill you gonna have more access so you can grab the condenser so you can slide the condenser into the radiator clips but you can see right there the condenser is attached to the radiator now we gotta put it right on the hold it holds the radiator in place once we got that stray, we're gonna start putting all the bolts. The two hoses, they're gonna go right here. The good thing about this radiator, the, this one has the two lines already. You just have to put the hoses back. Some cheap radiators, they don't have it. So be careful with that. Make sure that you get a good quality radiator because if you get a, a cheap one, you might run into some problems with these, um, with these connections. They're brass. They're very delicate I prefer to get a radiator with these included then you have to use the old ones They're very dangerous happens to me before uh, one time I stripped the threads in here caused me to get another radiator so be careful with that if you can see down there um, radiator is inside the only thing that we need to do is put these ones this one says R is on the right hand side so you just slide that one into the new radiator just slide that one in same thing on this side don't forget the two uh, bolts right here they get the condenser with the radiator together one in there one in there uh, probably gonna have to add some uh, engine oil because these two they run into the engine oil cooler check the level uh, in this one it's kind of hard to check because the dipstick is broken so I don't know how how much it has to go inside but still I have some oil oil is by W20 we're gonna try to check it kind of hard with that dipstick broken but when I have to check it we're probably gonna I'm gonna add some before I start running the car just to make sure because it's not a big cooler but you're gonna miss some uh, oil so make sure that you add that uh, another thing that I forgot uh, I was putting this backwards that's why it was really hard to put it the R has to be on the inside same thing with the L on the inside because if it is the, on the other side it's gonna be really hard for you to line it up so like that they line up with no problems the other way it's not gonna work uh, 
radiator fan is in place I already click on that side on this side it hasn't make sure the goes down and it clicks now it's only to turn in here once you put your fan you might be able to put the hose clamp those two hoses for the oil they're in place we just need to put the reservoir put the two bolts on the reservoir run the hose attach it put fluid and start bleeding the system and don't forget to run your cable for the fan right here on the bottom it's really really tight in here but man once you put it through connect it i put the fuse bags back on the two bolts in here two bolts on that side and we should be ready everything's back in place got the hose in here check and double check make sure that when you start the car um, it's not leaking from here from the hoses the bottom hose it has the clamp already everything is tight all the bolts are back in place everything is tight ready to go we're just gonna need to add some water for now I recommend you not to put coolant because you need to check for leaks so put water uh, the first time fill it up with water then just start the car check for leaks if you don't have any leaks uh, just replace the water with antifreeze bleed the system and you should be good to go okay guys so i'll leave you with that installation is super simple on this vehicle this is a 2009 uh, Hyundai genesis the tools that you're gonna need for this uh installation ratchet in this case i have this one you only need a 10 millimeter pliers this is for the small oil lines this is for the big uh the big lines on the radiator uh, this is extension I use it to remove the fuse bags a small one just to get to the two bolts they have the radiator and the condenser together uh, I need that extension for those two only everything else is just 10 millimeter and those two extensions pliers that's all you need for this installation and just for the record guys uh, I forgot to tell you this is the bleeder screw right here uh, I, I get it loose with the pliers can hear the air coming out so I'm gonna start the car now and just bleed it some more making sure that everything uh, is right and we don't have any issues with this car overheating mm -hmm.